guys might remember, I made a sprinkle handled ice cream scoop a little while ago, and I actually mixed up a lot more sprinkles and resin than I needed. And was going to do a follow-up video, but I broke my wrist. I'm out of my cast and ready to use some power tools. going to dump it in here. The entire time you were dying, but it looks delicious. Uh, the weirdest cooking show on YouTube is coming back. I just got my sprinkle ice cream handle blank in the pressure pot and I have some leftovers here that I'm going to put into a mold. These have been patiently waiting for several weeks now to come out of their mold. So while I really like the way the ice cream scoop came out, uh, I would prefer if I could keep these sprinkles whole. So this is the last one I made and I feel like it was the best of the three, which was a snake shed. And all I want to do, so this side is 5.2 millimeters and this side is 5.6 so I need to reduce this by a little more than 4 okay well that didn't feel safe at all so we're not doing that um, so this is just some plywood and we're just going to put a little hot glue on here Look at that. All right, we should have ourselves a couple of little safety sanding pads. Okay, I think I think we're looking pretty good here. Let's do a final check. Did you see that? Just shot across the shop. Let's go see if we can find that. No, oh, it looks pretty good. Woo! Well, we lucked out on that one. That was super lucky. I think we're done. I think we've got our two sprinkle handle blanks and we're ready for the next step. So the next step <laughs> almost looks like a single blank now. It's just a piece of double stick tape on the blade. That doesn't look very visible. Can you guys see that? Ah, there we go. So I could barely see what I was doing at the drill press, and even now I'm having trouble seeing the three holes that I drilled. So uh, they're here, here, and here. And I'm not even sure you can see that on camera.
That looks pretty close here. Um, try to cut really close to the line up here and down here, and the rest of it can be fixed up later. This is the way the ice cream scoop looks, so if you wanted a matching set, you could go with that side. I really want to keep the whole sprinkles for this project. I'm going to rough it up with a 100 grit sandpaper. It just helps the resin stick a little better. Blue tape is there so I don't get any resin on the blade. It's also there so I don't get any blood on the handle. So we're going to use a Total Boat high performance resin for this and one pump should be plenty. You just need a little bit to brush on and make good contact. Do one more clamp than we think is necessary. Now we just gotta wait uh, overnight probably. I just came back out here and I took out the pins. I mean my goal is to preserve this sprinkle and if I had the pins in there I'm gonna have to sand them flat and without messing up the sprinkles that we worked so hard to keep. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have a next step but I gotta figure one out. It is the next morning and I'm actually really glad I took the pins out. Um, and I believe the solution is going to be pretty simple. These are the standard size and I just spent a little time this morning sanding one of these down. Just want to make sure that it's flush on both sides. Now the first one I did without my arms wrapped around a camera so let's see how we do with you guys. shortened all of our pins to the correct length and I'm going to add a little bit of white pigment just in case there's any gaps that should fill it in nicely it's not going to take very much here and get a little bit of resin in there The tape wasn't working, so I took that off. That was the purpose of the tape, was to keep them flush, but it um, created a little bit of a suction. Okay, that looks good. Hey buddy, you hungry for some sprinkles? Sprinkles, sprinkles, and fingers. No, you can't have any fingers today, just sprinkles. Just sprinkles. So now the scales fit the blade. Oh, there's a fly in here. We hear you fly. Little diva is trying to steal my spotlight. Am I gonna fight this fly with a sprinkle handled knife? Actually feels pretty good in my hand. I knocked all the hard edges off. So now the only thing we have to do is polish this handle up a little bit. So my plan was to wet sand. Oh, you need some lights. Lights, here we go, sorry about that. So anyway, I was gonna wet sand. Uh, but we've got exposed sprinkles here. I'm going to dissolve all of these sprinkles back here. I'll try um, 800 grit, but what I don't want to do is I don't want to go down through the resin. i got a couple of high spots here and there. I'm just going to try to get 
try to scrape them off with a sharp chisel. If that makes, oh, don't do it that way, Peter. You're gonna kick yourself if you dig in with that bevel up. Be thankful that I cut out the last eight and a half minutes of video, because it was just me waffling back and forth as to what I wanted to do. So my decision is I'm going to paint a very thin coat of resin on one side, let it completely cure, and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, don't mess with it, Peter. Just leave it alone. Was that too many sprinkles or was it just enough? I feel like this is chock full of sprinkles. I'm really happy with how I was able to keep the whole sprinkles on here, even though it was a little difficult, if I'm honest, getting to see the cut sprinkles here on the edges. So now we've got dyed ramen knife, scotch bright and resin knife, a snake shed knife, and now a sprinkle knife. That extra layer of resin did a nice trick. I did end up polishing both of the faces here with the micro mesh pads, so I, I definitely think it's worth that. And I never did find that fly, so I think that's hilarious. He was buzzing around while I was polishing, but I don't hear him now. If you guys want to see more sprinkle and resin videos, I'll put a link up at the end for the sprinkle handled ice cream scoop I just made. And I also, forever ago, way back when, made a sprinkle cake plate. Please forgive Peter in that video. He really didn't know how to use resin back then. Oh, that's hilarious. There's the fly. You want a piece of me, fly? You want a piece of this?